address the custodial status of one Max Kennedy, age 11. Mother, Caroline Fallon, deceased. Father, Charles Kennedy. Deborah Fallon Barnes, you're the boy's aunt. Yes. As I've already told you, my, my husband, Marvin, is wealthy, and we can more than provide for Max. Well, I appreciate that, but per Texas state law, without a written will, next of kin retains custody. Charles Kenton, who is aware of this custody hearing, and we are expecting him. No, I need a new robot now. I had a big fight for ambush next Saturday. I, I gotta show up with something. Noisy Boy is for sale. Wow, in his day, Noisy Boy was a killer. How much? That's a good deal. What's wrong with him? Well, I can live with that. Uh, well, I don't have it, have it. Charles Kenton waived all of his rights to custody right after the boy was born. I can more than provide for Max. Whoa. Please be Charles Kenton. Uh, Charlie. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I'm here to sign some paper that releases my rights to the custody of my son. That's, that's why I'm here. Do I need to be here? Charlie. Do you even remember me? Deborah, Caroline's sister? Yeah, sure, Deborah. How are you? Mr. Kent. Yeah. Please take a seat. Your Honor, may I please go and see my nephew now? Yes, you may. How about you, Mr. Kent? Uh, what? You can spend some time with him if you'd like. With the kid? Yeah, the kid, the kid, Max, your son. All right, all right. You've been working with those robots for so long, you've become one. Honey, you wait right here. I'm going to be back. You take all the time you need, sweetheart. Your Honor, I'd like to, at this juncture, step out and call my attorney, if that's all right. Please. There you are. He'll be in a, he'll be in a foster home. No, they, they find good families. Uh, young, energetic, yeah. Thanks, Michael. I, uh, I will. Okay. Oh, hey. Hey. Um, Marvin Barnes, I'm Deborah's husband. You know, Deborah really wants to adopt Max, mm. and um, uh, I'm up for it. But um, seventy-five grand, seventy-five thousand dollars. You're serious? Mm -hmm. The thing is, we're supposed to go to Italy this summer with my oldest friend and his wife. Two months in Tuscany, and all over. Just a four year sounds nice. We'll be back in New York by the end of August. In August? <clears throat> a hundred. A hundred thousand? You heard me. You're crazy. You're not nearly as crazy as your wife. You tell her I just signed over that kid to the state of Texas. And the way I see it, there's a real way everyone gets what they want here. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to tell your wife I'll only sign over custody to her if I get to spend the summer with the kid first. Okay, just tell her how guilty she made me feel for being such a terrible absentee dad, how I want to make good with Junior, a little fatherly bonding, whatnot. She'll buy it, you get to be the hero, and everybody wins. Okay. But not a word about the money to Deborah, you understand? I understand. I'll give you 50 grand tonight when we drop off Max, and the other 50 when we get back in August and you deliver them to us in New York. Unless you're doing business with you. Your Honor, I'm really happy we all took the time to make the best decision for everyone. Happy? Yeah, it's me. I'm buying Noisy Boy. Oh, I got the money. Take him to Talos Gym, and I'll meet you there. 